Let's do it again. Don't, whoa, I hurt, man. Don't do that. Chill, man, chill. Hi, pals. It's Rich, and today I'm back with 4D Dinosaur Experience. This thing is augmented reality card set with a VR headset, and it's by Utopia 360. Can't wait to get it out and check it out. Oh, cool. We've got user manual, the 4D dinosaur experience cards, the virtual reality headset, some straps and a cleaner. Sweet! So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the app on your mobile device. I have an iPad here, it works for that and Android. Then the next thing is you get this cool pack of 20 augmented reality cards. We're gonna go through them all, we're gonna take a look at how each of them come to life in this really cool app. Chronosaurus. Oh wow, look how cool this is. This is the Chronosaurus. He's like a plesiosaur. Look at him, you push the action button and he moves around. Let's see what this does. Oh, did you know Chronosaurus is one of the top marine predators among the largest plesiosaurs to have ever owned the seas of the Mesozoic era? All right, cool, we got the Chronosaurus. Let's move on to the Dilophosaurus. Whoa, there's two of them up there now. Hey man, what is he doing? He's hanging out all crooked, look at him. And the T-Rex, look at the T-Rex. Look at that in the background, it's a big T-Rex. Oh, get him. Ugh. There he is, cool. Look at how small he is. Let's see, let's move him around a little bit. Look at him, that's how he runs. He's mostly known by the crest on his head. Ooh, look at him, he's roaring at me, sweet. Like humans, the Velophosaurus have an opposable thumb. Hmm, didn't know that. Let's see what else is about him. Very cool, he's a carnivore. He's actually pretty big, up to seven meters long. Now let's get the T-Rex out here. T-Rex, go away Dilophosaurus. There he is, look at him. Everybody's favorite dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, he is awesome. Let's see what facts they have about him. Talking about size, female T-Rex were bigger than the males. Oh, I hear you. That happens a lot in a lot of different species. There's the skeleton. Oh, nice. Drive mode. What's that? Oh, get back here. Hey. Ah, now that's cool. Get over here. Get him over here. Now that's cool. You got a little joystick. You can drive your, your dinosaur around. Very cool. Love it. T-Rex is sweet. There he is. Nice. He kind of looks a little bit like a T-Rex. And a lot of people called him Gigantosaurus in error. But what's cool about him is the spikes all the way down from the top of his head to the bottom of his tail. Really neat. It's a nice, nice, big dinosaur. Let's look at the skeleton. It's sweet. What's the fun fact? Gigantosaurus is often, often misspelled to Gigantotosaurus, and they were longer than a T Rex. Let's take him for a ride. Oh, where'd he go? I lost him. There he is. Come on. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Get out here. Where you going? He's gone. All right. Compsognathus. But, that's how you say it, I think. Remember, put in the comments if I don't know what I'm talking about, pals. Whoa, he jumps. He's a jumper. He's smaller than a rooster. What? Man, he's tiny. This, that means that this T-Rex can stomp right on. Bye-bye. Now that's pretty cool. Come Sognathus. Alright, our next one, let's get him, is... A plesiosaur. Plesiosaurus. Sweet, and it says near lizard. He is pretty big too. He's up to ten tons. Ten tons is pretty, pretty, pretty big. Whoa, that's cool, man. He's mad. Obviously, he doesn't like being on a card or in the sand. But he, oh, there he goes. He ran away from us. All right, so let's check out the fun facts about him. The modern myth of Loch Ness monsters, often associated with the Plesiosaurus, it just disappeared. Ah! Look who we got, our old buddy, Brachiosaurus. You can tell by the little tip on top of his head. He's obviously a long neck, but cool. Some of these have more actions than others. Like some of them, you can turn into the skeleton. Some of them, you can drive. 
and some of them you can't. But this is a really, really cool, sophisticated app, and the cards are just very informative. Love it. If the Brachiosaurus lived in our era, you might be able to see his head from the fifth floor of a building. What? What? That's crazy. All right, let's see him. Let's take him for a ride. Go on, buddy. Let's see you go. Stomp! stomp. Oh, just missed him. Ready? Stomp! No, oh, just missed him again. This one won't go away. He won't disappear. Oh. All right, still. Very cool, Brachiosaurus. Definitely my favorite herbivore. Put your favorite out of all these in the comments, pals. Let me know what you think. A Patasaurus. Look at him. Wow, look at the detail on him. Really cool. I didn't realize he was so low to the ground and had such a slim tail. It's like a whip. That's pretty wild. A Patasaurus may have migrated in herds, much like the big plant eaters of today. Based on this assumption, they might have protected their young by placing them in the center of the herd. Yeah, they might have also uh, had spaceships and come from Mars. No, I'm only kidding. So, pretty neat. I like it. I like it. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, Styracosaurus. This guy's cool. Look at the detail on him. That is so wild. Look at that. Wow, his crest and horns are just amazing. Man, I would not want to run into him in the forest. Imagine that, like a bull running after you, but this thing... The genius was inspired by a steel spike at the end of the spear known as a Styrax in classical Greece. Furthermore, the Styracosaurus could run fast, faster than modern day elephants despite of its massive body size. So that running at you, man, I say run! That's crazy. Alright, I like this one the best so far, I love the detail on it. Triceratops. Wow, he looks pretty, pretty awesome too. Not quite as cool, I don't think, but certainly pretty cool. Look at the skeleton on him. Nice. Triceratops deems one of the most recognizable dinosaurs and the best known and best known between any ceratopsians. The skull of the Triceratops alone can grow over seven feet in length. Wow, look at him. Hey, settle down, big guy, settle down. Settle down. Pentaceratops. Oh, he's gone. Oh, hey, our next one is up. He's a Pentaceratops. So super bonus question, pals. What does Pentaceratops mean? Oh, he looks real feisty. Let's see what his facts are. Had one of the largest skulls of any land animal ever discovered. Man, this guy's big. How big was he? He's up to eight tons and yeah, a herbivore. Imagine how much salad he ate. All right, let's see who's next. It looks like we're all in the same family. Oh, look who we got now. Parasophilophus. Most identified by his head and that strange thing hanging out the back over here. Very cool. He doesn't go have a drive mode to him, but let's see what his fact is. The hollow and bony crest was presumed by paleontologists to help them breathe underwater due to the fact that they spend much time in water. Now there's something I didn't realize. They use that like as a snorkel, that thing on the top. Alright, that makes sense. You can sneak up on people real good with a snorkel. Alright, the next one is the Iguanodon. The Iguana Tooth. He's a herbivore, but he's big too. Kind of a plain looking guy. Alright, yeah, I'm not making fun of you. It's, kind of, it's a little shaky. The app's a little shaky, but you know what? Maybe it's just me. No, he looks pretty cool. Oh, he went away again. The Iguanodon was one of the first known dinosaurs to be able to chew. and lived in the era where flowers bloomed for the first time on Earth. He's a big, five-ton herbivore. Real cool. All right, let's get the next one. The Dimorphodon. Look at them. These guys are sweet. I love these guys. In Jurassic World, the scene where they escaped the the uh, aviary and started attacking everybody, that had to be one of my favorite scenes. Look at them fly. Come on, get up. The Morphodon had a quick jaw suited to snatch fish and insects, which is why many classified it as a snap feeder. What? Snap feeder? Hmm. All right, that's cool. I wish they'd let you drive him around, fly him around uh, in the app, but you can't. Got him. Good job, T-Rex. All right, next one. This is another flying reptile. Ramphorninchus. It's called Beak Snout. Look at him. Man, that's cool. This dude's just hovering up. What is he doing? Whoa. I like him, man. He is pretty wild. Whoa, settle down, buddy. Settle down. Oh, he disappeared on me. Get back here! Alright, let's see what the fun fact is about him. 
Scientists believe he was a nocturnal pterosaurus. They would warm up and absorb heat by hugging warm rocks with his wings at night. What? All right, let's move on to the next flyer. The next oh, wait, ain't a flyer? I wonder who that is. This guy's cool. The Spinosaurus. Oh, man. Let it roar, baby. Let it roar. All right, cool, cool. Oh, look how big he's getting. Oh, you can make him bigger, too. It's smaller, bigger. Oh, my goodness, look. Wow, look how big he is. Spinosaurus' first fossil was kept in the German Museum, where it was unfortunately obliterated by bomb attacks during the Second World War. Fossil was inevitably destroyed. Yo, that's crazy that you can make this bigger, too. You can make him smaller, bigger. Let's see. Spinosaurus. Big, Spinosaurus. Spi Spinosaurus. Big. Small. Very cool app. That is cool. I'm finding out more stuff all the time. All right, let's move on to the next one. Gallimimus. This guy played a pretty big role in one of the Jurassic movies. I think it was in Jurassic World. Let's see what he does. What's your action, buddy? Oh, chill, man. It's cool. It's cool. They're capable of running 30 miles an hour. Man, that's pretty fast. That's faster than my car goes. Very cool. I've got to get one of these ones I can drive around again. Pteranodon. He's your classic flying reptile. We won't say dinosaur, because you know better, pals. Oh, where'd he go? Look at how big he is. Oh, where'd he go? He disappeared. He flew off. Pteranodon. Right, there he goes again. Very neat. Let's turn him around a little bit. He had no teeth. They were considered carnivores, though. Even though he had no teeth. That's crazy. That is wild. All right, he's out. The Pachy. Cephalosaurus. Nice, this is my man here. What's up, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? For all you pals out there that have been watching for a while, this is my favorite dinosaur. Even though it doesn't look too impressive, the crown of his head and the way he, he smashes into the other males in the species to establish dominance, to me, was definitely cool. He was one of the last dinosaurs living to the late Cretaceous period until the mass extinction day of dinosaurs. Oh, he was one of the last ones around, my boy. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Want some meat? Here you go. Here you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I hurt, man. Don't do that. Chill, man. Chill. Hey, 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 you're good boy, you're good boy. Alright, cool, back you Cephalosaurus, and Cliosaurus. This dude is sweet too. Look at him. Bang, man, that big club on the back, man, he knocked somebody out. Now that was a cool scene in Jurassic World when he was fighting Indominus, there was three of them fighting Indominus. Remember he whacked the, uh, the gyrosphere? Ankylosaurus was one of the last armored dinosaurs to live, and indeed one of the last dinosaurs of any type to live, too. Alright, so he was hanging with Packy at the end. Look at that detail on his face. He ain't, he ain't happy. You ain't nothing to eat? You hungry? And here's the whole collection. It comes with all 20 of these cards. Pachy totally cool. I mean, just, just it, it's, this is awesome to have all this right at your fingertips. There's so much cool stuff you can Brachiosaurus. do. I mean, wow. Great job, Utopia Brachiosaurus. 360. Octagon. The VR uh, goggles certainly are cool, but I can't really videotape them for you and show you how they work. It's kind of difficult to do that. But you get a good idea in this whole video exactly what you're dealing with here. So sweet. So like the video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos from Toy Pass TV. Don't forget, pals, don't be a bully. And put in the comments which of these was your favorite. See you later.